Hey guys, what's up? With you, Smell from CGAlter.com, and today I'm gonna be talking to you about multi pass compositing for 3D visualization using Photoshop. So, this week we're gonna be using Photoshop, and next week I'm gonna show you the same thing in Nuke, okay? So before we get started, why this process? Why doing the whole thing? Why the hassle? I think the best way to demonstrate this is by the following example. Imagine with me for a second this scenario. You just finished a two minute 3D animation, a walkthrough visualization. Okay, pretty good. You delivered the animation to your client after several validations. Awesome, pretty awesome. And two days later, your client sent you an email back asking you if it's possible to turn the EOS light of a certain shot off. Right? So the client is very important for you and you want your business relations app to keep going. So normally in this situation, you'll have to re-render everything from scratch. Now depending on the size of your render farm, re-rendering everything from scratch may take from um, a week or two weeks. Again, depending on the size of your render farm. Now, what that's supposed to mean? It means additional stress once again. You know, looking at the screen all the time and wishing that the scene doesn't crash or something. Now, what if you can do this instead in a matter of seconds instead of days? So if you're using multipass compositing, all you need to do is to go to that specific light pass, in this case the US light pass, and turn it off. That simple, very quickly, in a matter of seconds. So this is just one of the powerful additional controls that this work will give you. It's incredible. Now what is multipass compositing? It's about combining different elements. Those elements could be reflection, refraction, global illumination, lighting, etc. So we combine those passes together to match the beauty pass result that we get from V-Ray, and then we start making color correction and adjustments from there. So let's get started, folks. I'm very, very excited to show you this. Step one, passes creation. All right, open the render setup and click on the render element tab. Now let's add the passes. Click on add, then select the following passes. One, V-Ray global illumination. 2. V-Ray Lighting, 3. V-Ray Reflection, 4. V-Ray Specular, 5. V-Ray Refraction, and last, V-Ray Z-Depth, and hit OK. Now to save the channels as an EXR or separate channels, go to the Frame Buffer Options in the V-Ray tab and tick on V-Ray Roll Image File. Or if you want separate channels, click on Separate Render Channel. That's it, hit the Render button. Step 2. Combining the passes in Photoshop. Alright, in this step, we're going to combine the passes that we created, but before we do that, there is one rule to keep in mind. To create a mathematically correct composite, we will use a simple addition blending operation for all the passes. Plus, we will work in a 32-bit canvas. Okay, open the passes in Photoshop, make the global illumination as the base layer. Then add the other passes on top of it. Make sure that the refraction is on top of the stack. Now change the blending mode for all the passes to linear dodge add. Except for the refraction pass, make it lighter color. One quick note, both blending modes are additive operations, so math is still correct. You can unhide the beauty pass for now to compare. Of course, we have a complete match. Step 3. Color correction and adjustments. So now we can start our adjustment. Let's say for example that we want more reflection on the wood floor. Select the reflection layer and apply an exposure adjustment on top of it, and give it a name. Make that exposure as a clipping mask so that it doesn't affect the other passes below it, okay? Now in this stage, you can be creative, you know, use the brush tool and mix it with the masks, etc. You know, use all the nice tools and cool tools that comes with Photoshop. Okay, so in this case, let's change the reflection on the wood floor using the brush tool. Let's add a little bit of exposure to our reflection pass as a start and invert the exposure mask. Pick a white soft brush and change the opacity to 15%. Awesome. Now, the fun starts. That's it, guys. Now you can start applying different kind of adjustments to different passes. You know, the same way we did with the reflection pass. Most of all, have fun. 